Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be Holy God's fire! There are four things, according to scripture, that come to your life. You are guaranteed to experience them if you go through this spiritual labor to secure the manifested presence of God in your life. Are you ready? Number one. The presence of God, that influence, if allowed to rest upon a man and that you are immersed in that presence, it guarantees, number one, supernatural favor. Supernatural favor. Genesis 39 and verse 2. Hmm. Genesis 39 and verse 2. And the Lord was with joseph is that in your bible and he was a prosperous man and he was in the house of his master the lord was with joseph he was a prosperous man even though he was in the house of an egyptian go to verse 21 same scripture 21 the bible says but the lord was with joseph and he showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. What was the basis of his favor? Divine presence. That there was something about the presence of God upon Joseph. He was not the only prisoner. In fact, he was not the first prisoner. Before he arrived, there were other prisoners. But as soon as he showed up, he didn't just come with chains. He came with the presence. And the Bible says it brought prosperity and it brought favor to Joseph. Number two. What is the implication of the manifest presence of God in and upon a man's life? Are you ready? Rest roundabout. Rest roundabout. Exodus chapter 33, please from verse 13 and 14 rest roundabout it says now therefore if i have found grace in thy sight show me now thy way that i may know thee that i may find grace in your sight and consider that this nation is thy people next verse and he said my presence shall go with you and i will give you say rest my presence shall go with you and that is what secures your rest there is no possibility that means trouble will never end from the life of a man who ignores the presence of god it will be one kind of trouble and tragedy connecting after another divine presence can secure rest Second Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 12. Second Chronicles 15 and verse 12. We're reading to 15. The Bible says, and they entered into a covenant. Please look up everyone. Very powerful scripture. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul. Is that in your Bible? That whosoever should not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death whether small or great whether man or woman 14 and they swear unto the lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets 15. the bible says and all judah rejoice at the oath for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with all their desire and he was found of them as a result the Lord gave them rest roundabout. I prophesy to someone in the name of Jesus, this is the season you will step into strange rest. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, age-long battles, age-long disappointments, age-long captivity, it comes under arrest right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. Rest 
round about. The manifest presence of God that when the Lord is in the midst of you and he is mighty, he can be mighty to give you rest. Not just mighty to give you favor. God can be mighty to give you rest round about. Are you learning? Number three. When the Lord is mighty in the midst of you, finds expression as his manifest presence, what do you stand to enjoy? Three. Supernatural protection and preservation. Oh, this is powerful. Supernatural protection and preservation. Please listen carefully, especially in light of the evil times that we live in. Hallelujah. Now watch this. Say I buy a product that is very expensive and the product is somewhere hidden in that package. Look up please. If I throw that package up and it falls, does it hurt the product? Because the product is so secure, what suffers is what is wrapping it not the product is that true how many of you have carried a crate of eggs not wrapped not covered and you climb the bike or you climb something and only half of it arrived home because bombs kept breaking everything one by one now the egg is wonderful can serve you but it was not covered and protected those who do poultry business they have a way of wrapping that thing to a point that even if the car keeps turning, it will arrive safely. Is that true? The glory of God can become your shield and covering. That whether it is by your left or right, you can be so immune and protected. Let me show you a few scriptures. Psalm 23 and verse 4. We read that earlier. Let's read it again. It says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. That means anytime you see evil, forget about the evil and verify whether he's with you. If he's not with you, find him fast. Don't be distracted by the evil. You have no immunity against the effect of evil if you do not secure that he is with you. For thou art with me. Isaiah chapter 43 from verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 43, very powerful, instructive scripture. But now, Isaiah 43, 1 to 3. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, prophesy, say, I will not fear. One more time, say, I will not fear. Fear not, he says, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by name. Thou art mine. Verse 2. He says, when thou passest through the water, I will be with thee. He didn't say I will take the water away. Just, just know that I am with you. And when you pass through the rivers, it shall not overflow you. When you walk through fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon you. Verse 3. It says, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. I am with you. Daniel chapter 3, from verse 23. Daniel chapter 3. What the manifest presence of God the Shekinah of God, that when the Lord is in the midst of you, he is also mighty to protect, mighty to defend, mighty to preserve. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Uh -huh. And Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished. Why? And rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? And they answered unto the king, True, O king. 25. And he answered, Lo, I see four men. 
lo i see four men walking in the midst of the fire and they have no heart and the form of the fourth is like the son of god next verse and nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said shadrach meshach abednego ye servants of the most high god come forth and come hither and they all came forth 27 and the princes governors captains watch carefully and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power that means the effect of fire is not generic there are people who have seen, i told you that when you throw a product up if it is properly wrapped it is what wraps it that suffers nor was an hair of their head singed neither were their coats changed nor the smell of fire had passed on them the fourth man who appeared in the fire the chains all of a sudden were caught and the people were moving in the midst of fire as though it were not fire fire that had been made seven times hotter that those who prepared it fell and the bible says they died supernatural protection and preservation let's finish up the scripture and nebuchadnezzar said blessed be the god of shadrach meshach and abednego who had sent his angel and delivered his servant that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god the effect therefore i make a decree that every people nation language which speak anything amiss against the god of these three hebrew boys shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other god that can deliver after this sort hold on do you know what this means that there is a way god delivers that is like a signature you will know he's the one that, there are certain kinds of deliverances that you may suspect that maybe this is another kind of god but that when god shows up there is a way he can deliver nebuchadnezzar is not naive as to spiritual things and here he's saying that there is no other god that can deliver after this sort the way God will come through for you in this season will surprise everybody around you in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again the way my God will come through for you you expect him to come this way he will come in a way that will sign his signature upon your life that everyone will know that there is a God that sits in heaven Please sit down it is a risk to walk outside of the shekinah the presence of god there is no guarantee for immunity the bible is clear to us from psalm 91 that there are arrows that fly by day you know the thing about the arrow you don't know who shot it you just know there was an arrow if i shoot an arrow i can be from my room and yet shoot it there if i use a sword you will see the person holding the sword but an arrow can go in in battles you don't know where they come from but the presence of god can immune you can i tell you if you intend to rise if you intend to grow if you intend to manifest the influence of the kingdom please understand divine presence otherwise you will fall down one day for no reason and you probably might not be able to get up are we together if you ever think everybody will clap for you because you are rising think again we live in a world that is immersed in wickedness but in the name of Jesus that presence will rest upon you and and surround you and any arrow projected towards you that that the thick skin of that cloud will not only stop it it can reverse it back in the name of Jesus Christ 
the psalmist said in Psalm 3, please give it to us. Psalm 3, verse 1. Lord, how they increased that trouble me. Many a day, he says, that rise up against me. Two, many a day which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. I love it. I'm not going to sing it, but I will recite it. It says, but thou, O Lord, art a... Hold on. It didn't say you brought a shield. You are the shield yourself. Did the Bible not tell you the name of the Lord is a strong tower? That you can enter and you are saved from today anyone who plots evil against you whether by witchcraft or divination whether you are asleep or awake in the name of jesus the son of the living god before you wake up judgment would have happened already please sit down now watch this in the new testament jesus gave us a very powerful illustration that while men slept it was time for sleep the bible says an enemy came certainly that enemy found access there was no covering no hindrance did you know that there is a name satan is called the thief question how many thieves will come through your gate and knock responsibly and say, I came to steal? The thief is a master at violating order. A thief is not just one who steals. He's a master at violating order. A thief does not respect due process. He tells you there is an adversary who does not respect due process. And that cloud can cover you while you sleep and someone is making enchantments and saying, how can this person be the first to rise in this family let us conjure something that will bring him down and while they try to project you they think it's your face that will show up at, at, at that enchantment is fire that will answer right from that shrine in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I tell you this? I want you to believe what I'm telling you. Hallelujah. There are many of you, listen to me, just when you want to rise and move and excel, here comes these arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence that wastes in noonday every time you see people rise and cannot continue something is stopping them hallelujah can i tell you this when the glory of god rests upon you you not only find favor you not only find rest round about you can be sure of your protection listen you can hold a gun to protect you your gun is only useful if your hands are not tied is that true and you can shoot and if you have the courage to shoot is that true there are certain assaults of the devil that happens so fast you will need to be immune before not during hallelujah you see by reason of what i do i'm not just glorifying satan believe me by reason of what i do this is daily i interact with people who were not covered you are my shield you are my covering you are my stability and my foundation take me to the place the place you are the secret place 
That's where I want to be. I like this part of the song. You are my shield. You are my covering. You are my stability. My foundation. You are my shield. You are my covering. You are my covering. You are my stability, my foundation. Hear me. When Jesus started rising and he was making news in the town, is it in your Bible that some people came and gathered? Their assignment was not for him to stop. Their assignment was for him to die. If it happened to Jesus, who flattered you into believing that indefinitely you will keep rising, changing lives, affecting destinies, and then the gates of hell will fold their arms? Your church, your ministry, your voice, your business? No, Satan has not changed. It's, it's not only God who does not change, Satan too does not change. He is the same. Old. From the time he became Satan, he remained Satan. Don't you think your life will make him sympathize with you? You don't know the enemy you are dealing with. If Satan did not pity little children and there was a cry in Rama, you are an adult, why should he pity you? It takes the covering of that cloud. Because if he cannot get you, he will come to your children. If he, when he tried, he wanted to reach Jesus. He started with Peter, then Judas. And he killed two birds with one stone because both Judas and Jesus died. Unfortunately, Judas died without Jesus, so he couldn't come back. Can I tell you this? That covering is so powerful. There is space for everyone who cares to enter. That means you can't enter and leave your children. You can't enter and leave your husband or your wife. Even your business can enter. Even your ministry can enter. Even your school can enter. Don't watch attacks happen around your life and keep wondering. I want to know the name of all the demon spirits. It is not necessary. You just find that covering. supernatural protection the Lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall I be afraid of the Lord is the strength of my life he says I shall not fear what man does to me listen you can get up in the morning and go to the market you know you are innocent but how do you guarantee everybody there is innocent you can step into a car and you are ready to drive just because the car is sound does not mean you are safe i'm not scaring you are we together now this was one of the things i sorted out with god early because i knew the things you'll be doing through my life and i'm telling you even this one does not work by default I don't mean to scare you you desire greatness and when that anointing came upon you Satan saw it too Satan knows that instead of fighting every child in your school of the 500 students in your school he should fight you and bring you down he has won there are people who are equal nations why should Satan fight nations when he can fight them it's cheaper to fight them If there is any current attack over anyone's life here, under the sound of my voice, you have been seeing patterns around your life that you don't understand. Maybe in the life of your spouse. Those following, make sure you connect. I'm speaking now. I'm speaking from that glory. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I command those attacks that they come to an end now. Hear me? hear me when it was time 
to end Zechariah's captivity. When Gabriel came and Zacharias was questioning him, he said, I am Gabriel that stands in the presence of God. In other words, will I be false and leave the presence of God and come to you? I am coming from the presence. Oh, let me speak from that presence that in the name of Jesus again, anything that fights you goes down instantly. Help them, please. Anything that it, it goes down instantly. Please sit down. Supernatural protection. There are all kinds of things happening. Kidnappings, demonic things, ritual activities that just want to waste people's lives. Can I tell you, you can only do your best to protect yourself physically. Let me tell you the truth. You can find rest. There are many people who are afraid now. They can't travel. They can't go out because they are not sure. Look how unsafe the world is. Unfortunately, even our regions. The moment you are a person of influence, you don't even know what can happen. People have died because somebody shook them. The, the same kiss that is supposed to be a proof of love was a sign to an enemy. This is the one to kill. So someone can shake you. How are you? God bless you. Every business and every ministry that has gone under attack, every man of God whose voice is being fought by Satan, every anointing, whether in this city, in this nation, you are a man of God and the devil is fighting your voice, fighting your relevance, fighting your ministry. I come from that presence and I decree and declare that battle comes to an end now. Hear me? Every business here under strange attacks. You used to do well, but you don't know what suddenly happened. Sales have gone down, clients have gone down, inexplainable tragedies by the power that raised Christ from the dead. That devil gives way now. Every parent here, you don't seem to understand what is happening with your children again. Poor performance in school, wasting your school fees. They are intelligent people, but something happens to them. In the name of Jesus, I declare deliverance for you now. Please sit down. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. hallelujah praise the name of the lord do you know let me tell you this when you understand the mystery of the presence of god it is beyond the realm of anointing no you can be a career of the living presence of god that when people come within the circumference of your person this is not about falling down or standing up unconsciously you can be in a place and when God wants to rescue a destiny, he will just make them pass close to you. Did the Bible not say the shadow of Peter? The Bible called it shadow. We know better. It's not the shadow. They came under the influence. Peter carried that presence. Take that presence to your office and watch what happens. Take that presence to your business. For as long as you think I'm just a homo sapien, I'm just an intellectual. No. You are a career of that presence. That you make up your mind that I will never shake anybody or greet anybody and the person goes back and nothing changes. No. Hear me. Someone comes to greet you and says, good afternoon, sir. He shook your hand and left and he may not know what he carried. 
all he knows is that I shook his hand and goodness and mercy began to follow me what is the mystery behind my day favor from morning rest following me and the Lord will remind them that you shook one who stands in the presence hallelujah please sit down so number one the Lord can be mighty in your midst to bring supernatural favor number two rest roundabout number three protection and super supernatural protection and preservation are you ready for number four the fourth blessing that comes upon any individual who pays that price to be a career of God's manifest presence is called honor and exemption honor and exemption please give us Isaiah 43 from verse 3 to 6 let's read from amplified Isaiah 43 from verse 3 to 6 someone's life is changing now watch this I like us to read or I'll just read you just follow <laughs> for I am the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel your Savior it says I give Egypt to the Babylonians for your ransom God is sharing men to bail you out look at this Ethiopia and Seba for your release next verse it says because you are precious in my sight and honored and because I love you what will I do I will give men in return for you and people in exchange for your life this is your Bible that when you can secure that presence God would rather give a nation as a ransom to preserve you verse 5 fear not for I am with you I will bring your offsprings from the east where they are dispersed and gather you from the west the last verse it says for I will say to the north give up do you know what this means I will say to the south keep not back bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth that everything that has been scattered north south east and west that because you have secured the presence of God he can begin to give instructions it is not just men men don't come alone men come with things When the Magi saw the star that identified where Jesus the King was, they came with gifts. The Bible says they came with the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When Job was about to be restored, the Bible says all the people who left him, they started coming from everywhere. Job 42 and verse 10. Give it to us, please. Job 42 and verse 10 that the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had how did that happen 11 the Bible says then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and they that had been his acquaintance before something made them leave him and did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over the evil that the Lord had brought upon him every man also gave him a piece of money every man first Samuel chapter 18 let's start our reading from verse 10 still amplified first Samuel 18 from verse 10 are you ready watch what happened to the boy David the Bible says the next day an evil spirit from God one day I will teach you that some of these expressions that mean an evil spirit from God it was an error in the understanding of the prophets those days because evil does not proceed from God but for now let's just look at it it says and raved madly in his house Saul now and David played with his hands as at other times and Saul was holding a javelin Saul wanted to kill David 
and the bible says saul cast the javelin and he thought i will pin david to the wall and david evaded him twice read on saul was afraid of david verse 12 he says because the lord was with him saul was afraid david became a threat what is it about this young boy that exempts him that evil that should happen to him even the one i planned does not happen look at what saul ended up doing the man who wanted to kill david watch what he ended up doing verse 13 so saul removed david from him and made him commander over a thousand and he went out and came in before the people verse 14 David acted wisely in all his ways and succeeded and the Lord was with him you see there again 15 we're reading to 16 when Saul saw how capable and successful David was he stood in awe of him but all Israel and Judah loved David for he went out and came in before them everybody say honor say exemption that's what happens when the Lord is in the midst of you even to be mighty honor trails you like a shadow is someone learning Saul wanting to kill David David dodged that javelin and he ended up promoting him when you read the previous verses you will see that women began to sing songs to say ah Saul killed 1,000 and David 10,000 and it grieved his heart. Can I tell you this? You can respect yourself, you've heard me say, but you cannot honor yourself. Nobody has the power to honor himself. Honor is conferred upon you. Are we together? Yeah. There are many believers who love God. There are many gifted and graced people but they lack this grace for honor. Honor causes men to perceive you correctly, to match the worth of your sacrifice, and then to reward you accordingly. The assignment of honor is to keep correcting perceptions until it matches who you truly are. Hallelujah. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren that's the end of his story then it goes back to scene one and says that the mother bore him in sorrow and she named him Jabez because of her pain and he got to a point where he found out his contemporaries had risen nothing was working in his life he took responsibility oh that thou wouldest bless me he said and enlarge my coast and he prayed and the Bible says God had him four things that the presence of God secures never forget this so that when you see people walking in this possibility the secret is not any invention of themselves they have found security in the manifested presence of God the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting, use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.